Hi, it's Dr. Maria Lee. Picture this. You've got a fever, a cough, and a runny nose. Your voice is hoarse and your body aches. You go to your doctor and after examining you, they send you home without any antibiotics, telling you it's a virus. But what does that mean? And why wouldn't they give you antibiotics? The answer comes down to the difference between viruses and bacteria the two types of germs that most commonly infect our bodies. Bacteria are cells, and they cause disease by secreting toxins and competing with our own cells for vital nutrients. In contrast, viruses are not cells. They are tiny proteins that burrow into our cells and hide inside our cells, causing our cells to malfunction. Antibiotics work by killing bacterial cells while leaving our own cells untouched. Because viruses hide inside our cells, antibiotics can't touch them either. So by saying it's a virus, what your doctor is really saying is that antibiotics won't work for what you have. Some people read unintended meanings into the diagnosis of it's a virus. Having a virus does not mean that you're not really sick. In fact, people with viral infections are often as sick or sometimes sicker than people with bacterial infections. Having a virus does not mean that you are not infectious. Viral particles are easily transmissible through contact with saliva, body fluids and faeces. So it is vital that you cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze and wash your hands frequently. And having a virus does not mean that you can't deteriorate. People with viral infections can occasionally develop complications. So if you are deteriorating, please revisit your doctor. The good news is most viral infections like cold, flu and gastro come and go quickly, leaving our immune system stronger and better equipped to deal with similar viruses in the future.